If you want to run your Shadow of the Tomb Raider, this is smooth. Stick around. So, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. In this method, there is no frame generation and some of you guys may not even see a big FPS difference either. This is only the FSR 3.1 upscaling. Even though upscaler has the frame generation option, it won't work. And the upscaler doesn't even officially support Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So there will be some complications. Like and subscribe, help me to get 2k subs at the end of the year, maybe. I really appreciate it. For this we will use the uh, DLSS enabler by Artur. Link will be in the description. Make a free account in Nexus Mods and download the mod. If you have watched my other videos, you already have this. I will talk about Uniscaler later in the video but it's not need for this method. Now open your game installation location where the game EXE is located. Then open the DLSS enabler. Accept this and next, next. And in here you can either copy the path from here and paste it here or you can browse the files and select the exe located folder. If you saw my previous Witcher 3 video, you know what to do now. So first option is enough if you have a uh, Nvidia card, GTX or RTX. If you are using a Intel or AMD card, you need these three options selected. For educational purposes, I will tick this so I can show Intel and AMD users what to do after install the mod. Next and install. So for AMD and Intel users, you need to run this disable NVIDIA signature check registry file. After you've done that, open the game. In the launcher, go to option and see if you can enable DLSS. Choose DLSS and play the game. If you get random crashes, restart the game. Make sure not to run any FPS overlays either. So in here, I'm trying to press the insert key. I hit it, but the supposed menu doesn't appear. Uh, when this happens, exit the game and locate the nvngx.ini file. I'm setting the frame gen option here, but I don't think the game will use this. In the upscaler setting, change the DX12 upscaler to FSR 3.1. That means the uh, FSR 31 option. Save this and open the game again. Okay, now I can open the menu by pressing the insert key. Let's go through the options and see how they work. First, XCSS. You can see this is XCSS version 1.3.1. The game itself uses the outdated 1.10 something. So I get 73 FPS from XCSS. This is Radeon CAS uh, something sharpening something. This option does the same. And then we have FSR 2.1.2. Okay, it gives extra 5 FPS. So the FSR 2.2.1 gives the same FPS. 3.1 gives the same FPS, but it's kind of sharper than the other two. And under the FSR 3.1, you have FSR 2.3.2. It has more sharpness than the 3.1. You can see it right here. And about the Uniscaler. I tried to make it work but 
the ghosting issue is not going anywhere. I tried to use both of these mods together, but the same result. You get high FPS, but ghosting remains. And I heard some people say run the uniscalar mod and in-game turn off upscaling. What's the purpose of that? You will see high FPS, but the game feels like crap. I myself told that in my previous video um, and I'm embarrassed right now. Oh, and I forgot. If you are using a NVIDIA GPU, you can choose DLSS. See in here, I get like 78 FPS. Look what happens when I turn on DLSS. Yeah, I drop like 30 FPS, but the image looks so much better. And you can see no ghosting around these uh, spinning logs. So if you change to FSR 3.1, you can, you can see the ghosting effect is back. You will see less of these if you can run the game at a high FPS. And uh, using these upscalers, you ease your GPU's load. So the CPU needs to work harder and harder. So if you have a low end CPU, you might see some low FPS than your normal FPS. So other thing that people ask me that uh, can I use in-game DLSS with uh, modded frame generation? You can, but there is one catch. The game itself must have frame generation support, like Cyberpunk, Witcher 3, or Hogwarts Legacy. I don't know if uh, that will work for other non-frame gen games. Oh, and if you want to uninstall the DLSS enabler mode, just run this uninstaller and delete these two files. So for the in-game DLSS thing, you need Uniscaler. Copy these files to the game folder. Make sure to remove any other upscalers. After that, run the game once and exit. In this .toml file, you can see, use none if you only want frame generation. This only works if the game implement DLSS FG or FSR3 FG itself. Just change the upscaler to none. Then try the game again. I can't be certain this will work. So if you learn anything or nothing, make sure to like and subscribe. Until next time. Adios amigos.